Marquette. Sitting in the big chair on this rainy little night. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey, did you know that if you install a new VST or any VST for that matter, after you install it, you're gonna need to, well, scan and make sure that Sonar or Cakewalk sees it. To do that, just go right up here to plugins, pull that little drop box down and hit scan folders. It'll scan through all your little DLLs in your files to find that new VST you've been waiting to play. And uh, then you'll be pretty much ready to go. So make sure you do that after you install a new plugin. And also make sure you go in the preferences over here and tell it not to scan for plugins upon startup. Cause that is a total mess you don't want to be messing with that basically when you start sonar when you start cakewalk the first thing it'll do is scan for all your plugins for about 30 seconds if you have a bunch of plugins it could take even longer but it just screws things up you really don't want to do that but hey while we're here let's just do a quickie and uh, we'll talk about controllers I don't know what controller you guys are using I personally, because I use Cakewalk, and Cakewalk used to have a relationship with Roland, I use the Roland controller series. Myself, I use the A800 Pro, and it has a pretty tight integration with Sonar, with Cakewalk. That said, let's check out a very useful feature of that integration. Here we have uh, Omnisphere on the front here and all these controls let's see if we can uh, find something that uh, makes something happen here very cool how about that? Now that is cool. Wouldn't that be cool if we could use that effect while we're playing? Well, we can. All we gotta do is just decide on your controller what knob or slider you wanna use. So I'm gonna pick this first knob on my controller. Right click, learn control, and twist that, and boom. So now let's check this out. Very cool. Now another way we can do this is to actually record a track. So what I'm gonna do is, this project I'm working on, I'm gonna mute. We're gonna record a track here. And let's just, for the sake of simplicity, let's just say we're playing along with um, some live track and this sound is going to be pulsating on that low end but I don't really know exactly what points yet that I want to use that real-time modulation so this is what we can do we'll record Let's just keep that going a little longer here. Just 
just to save time, guys, once you put that first note there, you can just drag it out. You don't really need to sit and hold it for however many seconds. So there we have this note. All right, great. But where's my real-time effects? Well, we can do all this later. See, let's just lay the note now. And then what we'll do is we'll come back and start this at zero. And I think it was this one that controls it. So we'll just hit record again. stop that recording. So now we've done two recordings basically. Our original recording right here of just that one note and now here you see the waveforms for basically the knob turn, the real-time controller here. And after all is said and done we can just play that back. Looks like Moto, Moto Bass has been recording this whole thing too. It's not going to do much for it though. Let me go ahead and turn that off. Sounds pretty cool though, huh? So there you can see how easy just by right clicking on a control like Cut Off, uh, MIDI Learn, Turn It whatever you could even remember everything is a MIDI controller your modulation wheel uh, is a just a MIDI controller your foot pedal is a MIDI controller so anything can be assigned to anything and let's see do they have an unlearn unlearn right here so we can unlearn that too unlearn filter cutoff and now when I go to the same controller nothing is happening so let's try it again. I want to control the cutoff. I'm going to right click, MIDI learn. See how it's squared off right there? I'm going to turn what knob I want. But this time I'm going to use a slider, I think. This first slider. Maybe I see MIDI learn. Yeah, I'm going to use this slider right here. And now this slider has been activated. So when we play it back, let's get rid of this recording. If you want to, if you want to get rid of that original real-time control, just erase it like a regular MIDI track. Let's start over, and this time I'll have some fun with the slider. We'll just hit record. Make sure your slider's down. slider, a bit more control. So yeah, there you go. You can control anything with any controller you have just by right clicking, learn, wiggle it, and you're set. You're watching Wirecat.